please check out my other video on how I prepared the hunks of clay in order to uh, ready them for throwing with the two different uh, colors of clay with the stained clay body. I apologize if in this video you hear a, a noise that goes on and off. I have my kiln preheating right now and uh, I know it's going to create a little bit of an electronic noise in the background, so I apologize. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing how to do a bowl with marbled clay. I have already prepped my various bowls. This one has a little less of the marbled clay in it. It's probably only about a quarter of the weight. And this is just going to be a basic bowl where I'm going to um, just kind of clean off the outside and rib it. I'm going to start off by centering it. I'm going to use all the same techniques of throwing that I normally would. I center, I drop the middle. Now you can see that it's revealing some of the stain in the middle there. If you would like to see a video a tutorial step-by-step -step on uh, throwing a bowl, please check out um, my YouTube channel because I have step-by-step uh, -step videos where I do explain the entire throwing process for many different forms, all the basic ones. Okay, now that I have my basic bowl, I would like to reveal the layers of the stain and the clay and you can do this before it gets leather hard or you can do it after it gets leather hard. I am going to choose to do it before and I'm just going to use a rib or a scraper. So by scraping away the exterior I've scraped away the slip and that reveals the layers and the striations in clay. Same thing on the interior, it's a little bit trickier on the inside, but I want to get the slip scraped away.
And then for the edge, I'm going to use a notched card. I wouldn't normally use this on a wheel thrown piece, but because I want to scrape away the slip. That's why I'm using it. And that looks pretty good. So I do have um, maybe a few little groggy marks where when I uh, when I scraped the grog kind of uh, made a little line, but I'm not going to worry about those. And this looks good. I think it's ready to cut and set aside to get leather hard.